Some gear items and combinations are insane in Far Cry 6. You could say that they're kind of breaking the game because they're really, really strong. So I want to showcase some examples here and they might come to Lola Shop soon. And speaking of Lola Shop, there are some amazing gear sets right now. Like the best one we ever had. Get it before November 30th. I will tell you all about it. Let's for now start with one, if not the best chess piece in the game. The Synth Pop Bomber. So, this says, kill enemies with gadgets, reward gadget ammo. So, then you're maybe like, okay, nice, you get one gadget ammo back when you kill an enemy with a gadget. Well, that's not the case. Now, killing an enemy with an axe or a throwing knife, for example, reveals all your used gadgets back to full. So, you can just go into a camp or in a spec ops, use your healing syringes and the perception grenade, for example, and then with one throwing knife kill you get all your reasonably used gadgets back and because you also get your throwing knife back you can do this endlessly and have an endless amount of gadgets you can enhance this even more with the dark tech gloves which can get at arms dealers because then the throwing knives and axes lock onto targets so you can kill them way easier and if you want to go full gadget run, then totally use the Tech Master Cap 2. Because then, when killing an enemy with a gadget, you tech nearby enemies. So, that's pretty nice. I see Dennis do a gadget-only Spec Ops run here, which is surprisingly good with this build. And sure, he took out the tank with the Pyrotechno at the end. Although, you could have used an EMP grenade for that as well. And this is, by the way, funny because there's also another item in the game that says receive a wool gadget restock after destroying a tank. So this is the exact same effect as the bomber chest, only of course destroying tanks doesn't happen as often as killing a person with a gadget. So I am not sure if the Sin Bob bomber is supposed to refill all your gadgets because the description is completely different than that of the Soviet watch, but they do the exact same. So maybe they will change it otherwise there's really no reason to use this watch from the motherland bundle because this synth pop bomber is way better i'll keep you up to date here when the chess piece becomes available at lola or maybe they put the perk on another gear item we can get through other ways as we've seen many times before as well i will keep you posted here on the channel so totally subscribe if you haven't already and if you like the video so far then leaving a like on the video would really help me out as well now another crazy tactic is getting instant help back and in my previous video about the vase gear i already showed you a nice combo with the fast tank chess piece you can get by playing that dlc i will leave a link to that video at the end of this one like here this enemy shoots me on this mountain gun and just cannot kill me because my health regen immediately triggers after taking damage so, yeah, I get back to full health pretty easily. While normally, as you might know, the health regeneration kicks in after 10 seconds. But now immediately, and that's thanks to the leader set pens, which you unlock near the end of the main story. And also the street surgeon gloves, which you can just buy. So if you only equip one of these, begin regenerating health sooner after taking damage perks. Then it starts after 5 seconds. Equipping 2 items lets you regenerate health immediately. And now Ubisoft also added the Space Marine helmets to the game with a similar perk. So if that appears at Lola, you can rock this combination with another glove or pants. Or also before finishing the main story of the game, which is kind of nice. Wearing all three though doesn't seem to improve anything sadly. And maybe you already saw it that Ubisoft added Breaking Bad armor sets to the game that do not only look pretty cool like the Los Pollos Hermanos set of course inspired by and named after the fast food restaurant that was used by Gus Fring for his uh, drug smuggling business in the series. And you find one interesting perk in this set and then we stay on the health regen topic. We namely have the fry cook apron chest which improves health regeneration while holstered. And damn, the increase is pretty insane. So this will kind of change your playstyle up. Of course, use the other health regen items I mentioned earlier as well. Need to get health back, then just switch to the holstered option in the weapon wheel and watch it go up way faster. And because carrying the bomb in spec ops counts as holster too, you get way faster health back while carrying the bomb as well. And Ubisoft is now also experimenting with health back through other ways than the mods we of course already have. 
the perk, namely on the hands. So the watch of the Heisenberg set, of course, inspired by Walter White's criminal alter ego. I think it looks pretty cool. And the perk says heal after killing a poisoned enemy. So this makes using poison rounds a bit better, but you only get like three quarters of a bar back on a kill. So that's really not a lot. And Overall, of course, using poison to kill enemies is not really the best way to go about things. So maybe spraying poison on an enemy first and then killing him with another weapon is a better tactic. Still not ideal. I really hope Ubisoft like looks at the poison playstyle and improves it all around. Because I do think it's interesting that they're pushing the other ammo types on us as well by giving us, for example, healing back. Because right now you're just using armor piercing rounds. There's no real reason to switch that up. So hopefully they toy around with this more in the future. Now we talked about the Cavera hat from the Far Cry credit store already. It's wild. Scanning enemies through rocks or through walls like this makes using your phone much better. And this item was for sale at Lola at some point. So while we might not be able to get the items I just talked about right now without paying, there's totally a chance that they show up in Lola's shop. Or again, maybe they put these perks on other items that we can more easily earn. And we're seeing that right now with the Hydro Powder set you can get at Lola right now till November 30th. Namely, the perk we find on the headgear was first exclusive to the shades that came with the Ultimate Edition. So you could only get by paying extra money. Well, now you can get it by just spending the in-game moneda. It's 400 moneda per piece. Again, this set is available till November 30th 2021 so you gotta be fast and as I already discussed the look is really really cool and the slayer in the comments under my video where I first talked about this set made the most from Borderlands 3 comparison and really when you put the two next to each other you totally see that it was an inspiration let's call it that looking at the helmet and the shoulder pads but the perks, again, are noteworthy too, so let's go to that perk you again also find on the shades from the Miami Strip pack. Improves blindness recovery. So normally when you get hit by a flashbang, you see nothing for quite a long time. But with the perk we now find on the Hydro Powder set, you, like recover way way faster the impact is really noticeable another similar perk with an insane impact is what we find on the boots of this set recover from being knocked down more quickly so this is without the perk it takes some time to get back up but with the perk you get up insanely fast like if you put the two next to each other you see the increase even more so this is amazing because especially in higher level spec ups or higher level areas there will be a lot of rockets fired your way so being able to get back up insanely fast to heal yourself or run away can be a lifesaver. The pants are great too. If you wear these, you can carry more EMP grenades and sticky EMPs, which is great as this gadget is nice to, again, hijack tanks or blow them up completely. So you can normally carry around three of those, but now five. Although if you have that Synpop bomber jacket, then yeah, why need an increase to the amount of gadgets you can carry if you get it back like instantly anyways. But a good combo with the bomber chest piece are the gloves from this hydro powder set with these you namely get a supremo charge on gadget kills normally it takes around the 9 to 10 kills to fill up your supremo charge fully with gadget kills but with these gloves it's six to seven kills also of course depending on how long there is between these kills as the supremo recharges a bit over time but yeah then you don't have the lock on to targets from the dark tech gloves so you will miss more often but if you get the aim right then it might actually be better to wear the gloves from the hydro powder set good to know though is that when you put a turret down and then kill an enemy with a throwing knife with the sin pop bomber jacket on then you will not get the turret back because you can only have one turret active at a time but if the turret gets destroyed they kill someone then you will get the turret back. Turrets are usually not really that good and you can of course unlock the turrets just like other gadgets by going to the Supremo part of the workbench and then selecting one of the gadgets. Again, it's not really good normally because it gets destroyed really fast. Well, with the electrician fast, 
you improve auto turret damage resistance. And this also a significant increase. So this is a full magazine of the one ping only AS fall rifle without wearing the vest. Then your turret is below half health. While if you unleash the same magazine on an improved turret while wearing the vest, you notice very little damage. Also a regular turret gets destroyed from a rocket launcher instantly while with the perk from the chest it survives. So wearing this gear chest makes sure that a turret becomes a way more viable gadget all around. Really really cool to see and overall it's cool to see that these perks especially on this new gear set are really impactful. So yeah subscribe for way more Far Cry 6 content. Get the items I mentioned here that are at Lola. A like on the video would of course really help me out. And check out my previous video on the amazing false weapons and gear items. For if you haven't already, you can watch it by clicking on the screen. For now, I'll speak to you in the next one. Goodbye.